a gas in a container exerts a pressure on the walls of the container. That's our macroscopic observation. What's beautiful about molecular kinetic theory is that we can derive an equation for the gas pressure using a microscopic explanation. Let's isolate just one single particle in this container of gas and label this length x. We know that pressure is equal to force over area, and Newton's law of impulse tells us that force is equal to change in momentum over time. I'm going to save this equation till later and begin with just looking at the momentum. If we make the assumption that this collision is elastic, when the particle collides with the wall, it rebounds with the same speed as before. If the initial speed is v, the final speed is minus v. The negative sign takes into account the change in direction. So the change in momentum is minus 2mv. I can plug this into Newton's second law so that force becomes minus 2mv over t. Let's find a way to get rid of time. Speed is distance divided by time. If the particle has traveled there and back, the distance is 2x. I can now rearrange this to get t as the subject and substitute this back into our equation. We get minus 2mv divided by this. Let's bring back the equation for pressure. Pressure is force over area. If I label the depth and height y and z, the area of this wall is their product. So pressure is force divided by the area. And multiplying x, y, and z is equivalent to the volume of this container. So very conveniently, we have derived the equation for pressure in molecular kinetic theory. So pressure is equal to minus mv squared divided by volume. 